What's going on guys? Welcome back for more Fallout 3. In the last episode we made it to the main mission following the trail. And we also took a look at the side quest of going to go save a bunch of little shits from uh, Paradise Falls. And some other random people. We basically do the show. Places. Yeah. In this episode, we made the Vault 87. And I said I was going to do this because we might as well while we're right here. So. Let's just go walk through Fall 87, hopefully don't get shit on by radiation, because I believe that's exactly what we're going to be uh, getting. And yeah, let's have some fun. Unfortunately, I believe once you do this quest, you're going to be auto-knocked to another location, but at least that location you can easily walk out of. With a lot of guns, a lot of gun spread. But anyway. Personal Peter Stephen journals. I have no idea what that's all about. Honestly, I don't even really care. <clears throat> so I'm not going to bother. Probably has something to do with why this save is locked. Maybe. I don't know. Click. And. Ooh, free stuff. Let's get into a car. And that's about it. Dude, this place is pretty barren. That's all I got to say. But then again, so it's everywhere in these fucking wastes. And that door right up. What should I go for inside these halls? I have no idea I'm going to be fine. Yeah, this is about as good a weapon as any. Pretty much pierces everything. Oh god. It is really red in here. I'm not sure why. Is that Nikola Tesla? Oh, that's worthless. Thanks, game. Yeah, I always love getting the magazines after they're completely worthless to me. It's the best. Let me tell you what. He's the best! Still bummed I didn't pick that perk to get perfect fives, because that would have bumped my charisma up by two and my luck up by two. That would have been so smart to get, but no, I didn't. I might get that next. Oh wait, no, I wanted to get the child at heart perk first. Damn. Well, there's not like there's much else I want to get other than the almost perfect perk, so. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, Juan Long? Okay, I can't repair both of you and die anything. Is there anything I can? That sniper rifle. There's Okan's Razor again. How much is that worth? 60? It's actually not bad. I'm pretty impressed. Desmond Trial's worth a good amount of money. I'll be right back. Alright, well, I'm back. I love getting interrupted. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get a perfect combat shotgun. Can I repair this? Yeah. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> so, two good combat shotguns, which can be repaired into another combat shotgun. Yeah. I always love this repairing shit, trying to figure it all out. And what the hell is the reason for this? I just don't get it. It's the mannequin, and I got disconnected from Xbox Live. I wonder what that happened. Did my internet just shit out or something? No. Computer says, uh, I got my internet. That's pretty silly. Yeah, I have no idea why my internet just shit out there, but I don't honestly care that much, I guess. <laughs> I should feel like I care more, but I don't. If my internet wants to shit out, that's perfectly fine. It just means I won't get annoyed with messages, despite the fact that I never get messages. So, yeah, because I don't really play on live. Ever. I cannot sleep when there's no enemies nearby, because seriously, there's no fucking enemies nearby. All right. Let's go find what these enemies are that they're talking about, because I haven't found a single damn one of them. Out here? No, that's just back to the Great Chamber. Don't tell me all it's in here, it's just this shit. Don't tell me it's not even important, it's just something you walk in and look around. It's not like a shortcut. Oh my, I'm, I'm getting that feeling. Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. Duh, over here. <clears throat> Alright, what do we got over here then? Hello? Anything? I seriously have not found a single enemy. Like, where is everyone? It's just totally dead. Can I go sleep in my makeshift bedding now? Oh, seriously? These are the enemies I have to worry about? Roaches. Can one shot and explode with my fists? Like, not only do you one shot them, they explode. Okay, I do hear a uh, super mutant. That could be kind of a problem. But I'm going to step the shit out of you. Mm. He got stomped. Get stomped! 
Oh god, I'm getting stomped right now with the machine gun. That's pleasant. Oh hey, it's a master, once again. Hello, Mr. Master. I'm going to palm you. That was not a palm. That was also not a palm. That was a punch to the dick. That guy's not very smart at this, is he? Oh my god, there's two of them. Now it's getting miserable. Alright, more bio gel. <laughs> That's pretty much what you do. Alright. Aim for one and fuck the other. That's basically what you gotta do in these battles. Just keep knocking them down. Ducking and weaving and ducking and weaving. Dude, he got totally knocked out. He got laid out. There we go. Now it's time to paralyzing palm you and take you out just like your friend. That was not a paralyzing palm. That was also not a paralyzing palm. That also wasn't a paralyzing palm. Goddamn fault, man. God damn it fault, man. At least I can knock him out with my own fists anyway. Which is hilarious. No! This is why unarmed is easily like one of the most broken combats in the game. You can just keep knocking them down. Like it just has its uses. If you get endurance high, it's just so useful. So useful. Even more useful than melee in my opinion. Because melee you're limited to the amount of damage you can do with your sword. Fists, you're limited to the amount of pain you can put into the enemy. But with your fists! Which is just awesome, if you think about it. Alright. I was looking at a perfect Chinese assault rifle for no reason. Because we can go sell that later. I sure they have too many Chinese assault rifles right now. They're running way too many at me. Whether it's because of the stupid masters or some other dumb reason I'm forgetting about. Probably raiders or talent combat. Shit. I don't really know. Hmm. Anyway, let's try the railway rifle for a little bit. Ow. What's a sledgehammer? Are you kidding me? A brute? Fine. Poke. Poke. Please stop that. That was pleasant. This thing. Critical damage. Holy shit. So powerful. Okay. Now who should I kill in here? Car cages. Seriously? Fan car cages. Hmm. Atomizer, or not the atomizer, the disintegrator. I'll try that for a little bit. <clears throat> also go through the living quarters. I have no idea exactly where we're supposed to be going inside this vault, but I'm sure we'll find our place eventually. Hmm. Still got my Fanta. Still got my Fanta. pointless. This is supposed to be like the guarding station where a person would just sit here with like a gun out the window and be like, alright, to the block, prisoner, to the block. Ooh, I'm gonna use it on him though. Won't be expecting that. Seppi doesn't expect anything because he doesn't even know where I am. He just says, there you are, but I don't know where you are at. Ha ha ha. I am a stone superman. Ha ha ha. Seriously, I love Superman sometimes. They're just really stupid. Or maybe you just can't open the door. Like, dude, was that what you needed? Oh, that's all you need? Oh, no! Oh, no! It's fucking overlord. Everyone, you need to run right now. Oh, this is bad. Wait, he has a super sledge for an overlord? That's not bad at all. Thank God. Yo, hey, get over here. There we go. Now we play games. Look at that damage. Three of them did that at this close range. Hell, it killed me more than it killed him, pretty much. That is the raw power of the overlords. Nobody likes them at all. Did you just get knocked? Did you just get laid the fuck out? That would be hilarious. Yeah, I think he just got laid the fuck out. Ow. Feel the resounding pound of that hit. Dude, if I could paralyzing pollen down the steps, that would just make my day. Come on. Come on, Paul, man. That was not anything even close to a paralyzing palm. Dude, look how much damage he's doing with a super sledge. Holy shit. 
Paralyzing Clown down the steps. Come on, Fall Man. Do it! Yes. That was not as funny as I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you, you could have been a little bit better. But now at least I can be Kinky Bastard. Yeah, that was, that was pleasant. Get a mini nuke. Why on earth do you have a mini nuke? You know what? I don't even mind. That was a pretty, pretty decent fight, Mr. Bastard. I don't like you. So, yeah, explode. I fucking hate the overlords. That's all I gotta say right now. Overlords are literally the worst of humanity. <clears throat> Rolled up into one giant freaky ball of disgusting radiation. Okay. Use Sydney Ultra 10 millimeter on the next food I see. Hmm. Whiskey. Where's everyone anyway? Oh, there they are. What the? Seriously? No, I'm just going to avoid that. Done. <laughs> now that was a lot of shots. Pow. SMGs work a lot better on big guys like Super Mutants because you just spray and pray them, and it works out so well. Yeah. <coughs> Leave all their friends destroyed. Then their friends will sit there and try to eat them. Then they'll realize it's not very tasty. But by that time, I'll have already shot them. Oh god. How to get a sneak attack on him? I got it. We're gonna get a sneak attack, fat man kill. Now that's the idea. Sneak attack, fat man kill. Damn, that actually kind of worked. Except he saw me at the last second, but I don't really care. Look how much damage that did. Holy shit! He just got hit directly in the torso with a fucking fat man. And survive it. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, if the Fat Man existed in other games, it'd be awesome. But not if there were people who could literally take a full blunt of a Fat Man and keep shooting. Let's be honest here. Okay. So now we got some very hard locks. Well, just one, but whatever. I also got a bathroom. Sweet, I love bathrooms. Now I get to drink from the sink, because of course I can't go in that bank ship bedding because all the rad roach enemies. Stopping you immediately. Stop and go it is. These things are pretty good, giving me like whole 24 HP. Very little rads as well. Alright, time to take some rad away because I got so much of this shit. How many do I have now? 45? Alright. And also with a very high medicine stat. It's absolutely no problem to have it all. What the, the toilet just hit me. The toilet stall door hit me. Ugh. Pleasant bathroom checking music, by the way. These toilets are disgusting. Well then. Let's see. Fuck. There we go. Hello? Did this even activate for me? Was this just a shortcut? Is that all this was? Because that's sort of what I'm getting the idea of here. Well, why the hell would I want to take a shortcut? I want to look at all this shit. Like this Overlord stuff. Because he's got microfusion shells and a tri beam laser rifle. I don't know if I've demonstrated this yet, but he has it. Yeah, I don't think I have yet. What the hell is that? Oh, they're pills. They look like dog prints. I'm not sure why. A clue, a clue. I saw a clue, man. I saw a fucking clue. You might as well try the tri beam laser rifle for a little bit, just to demonstrate what it's like. Also, use this, uh. Where the alien epoxy's on it. And it's up to full. It's up to full. Look at that damage, by the way. This thing is incredibly useful. Incredibly useful gun, but it's just not for me. I'll demonstrate what it does, though. Um, there you go, Chinese assault rifle. Get to perfect condition, I suppose. All right. 
So the way the tri-beam assault rifle, or the tri-beam laser rifle works is literally it just shoots three laser beams at once. It's a little hard to see when you're shooting it, but for everyone else it makes more sense. When you get really high with your energy weapon skills, it doesn't spread. It's just a straight up shot forward. In other words, this weapon becomes basically shooting three laser blasts at once, which is incredibly powerful. But, only problem with it is it, of course, takes three ammo at once, meaning you only get about eight shots. But I'll demonstrate right now on the Overlord how much it works. See, look at that. That's actually some pretty voluminous damage for a laser gun. As you can see, it's not bad of a gun at all. Just not for me. It takes way too much ammo. And besides, Disintegrator just works out so much better. Look at that. Wait, that's a different Overlord entirely. God damn it. Alright, well, guess what? I believe it's time for Fat Man version 2. How many overlords are in here? I wonder. Whatever. Boom! That hit myself. That was kind of stupid of me. How much did I cripple myself after that shit? Uh, pretty bad. But just my leg. Okay, now we're gonna wanna go on over to the adaptive bio gel and spam that shit. Oh, yeah. Now we're back up almost to full. What to use now? What will work out very well against these bastards? My fists? Yeah. Sounds about right to me. Ow. Of course he's not coming close to me, but I crippled the shit out of him. Oh, there's one behind me. Oh. Man, I thought I hit both of them, but apparently I didn't because this guy was behind me. Arm hurt! Ooh! Now that was a silly way to fall down. Thunder bridge is falling down. Thunder bridge is falling down. Now nah, beating the shit out of you. Dude, he just got up. It looked like I did almost no damage to him. That's how annoying this stupid paralyzing bomb is. Or how annoying these supermans are, I should say. Not the paralyzing bomb. Oh my god. He wrecked my shit. Did you have to shoot my dead corpse after I was already dead? Back to the living quarters. I'm a person of refinement, apparently. Alright, well, at least I saved here to demonstrate the gun. But now I can get a sneak attack critical on them. With my fat man. On both of them, hopefully. This time. Uh, of course, they both walk out of different hallways. God damn it. You know, I'm going straight for a headshot with this. Boom! Bitch. That was pleasant. Now we need to kill him so he doesn't not bother us anymore. Oh. Why on earth am I using this gun? I have no idea. Yeah, these guys hurt a lot with their trap beam laser rifles. That's all I gotta say. There we go. There's one down. Now just to deal with the other one. God, these guys are disgusting. They look like the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles designs that Michael Bay shout out. <laughs> Alright, time to punch him. Wait for the action boy points to reset. And time to get wrecked. Because you're going to get triple pound, hopefully. There we go. All I needed was one. Oh, oh, I tried to reload, but I couldn't. That's what you get. If you paralyze and pile in the middle of reloading, apparently they have to finish reloading before they're allowed to fall over. <laughs> that was not bad at all. Another trap beam laser rifle, and if I pick it up from his friend over here, it's another trap beam laser rifle, all to repair in the same trap beam laser rifle which I already repaired with my alien epoxy, so it was completely worthless. Alright. That is the wrong overlord. Where's the proper overlord? Oh, right, the proper overlord was all the way over here. God damn it. Well, I can also see from the gore bags and find a bunch of frag grenades with the hide inside the dead body bags. I have no idea why the hell they do that, but they decided to do that, so. Yeah. Seriously, look. A few frag grenades. Gold it. Also, had mutilated legs in there, but. That makes more sense. Somewhat. I don't know. As much as dead body parts can make sense. And these guys keep dropping mini nukes. You know what? I'm gonna keep using mini nukes on them if they just keep dropping them. That's perfectly fine by me. I'll spam all my mini nukes on their asses. Look at the fat man, too. It, oh, actually, it has been breaking a little bit. Oh, well, better use some uh, epoxies on that shit. 
I'll use two just to make sure it's completely powered up. And look at that damage, man. This thing is literally going to be killing everything that I need to kill. Alright, how many shots do I have four left, by the way? Fourteen. Alright, fourteen shots. It's not bad at all. Try beam laser rifle time. Mm. And I got seven more pounds to get rid of. Yo, I did use the uh, terrible shotgun. There you go. Sweet. Probably going to be gaining more pounds once I steal from these. Alright, not from that one. Probably from this one. No? Uh, this one? I still have good stuff. Seriously, I have no idea why they always have such good stuff, but it's just how they work. Don't, don't just argue it. It, it just works. Like the perch. Okay. Where do I go now? I go left or right? Hmm. Ah, shit. Oh, man, look at that jump. Dude, I juke the shit out of you. Ooh, still juking the shit out of you. Now you're gonna get Paralyzing Pumped. That was not the Paralyzing Pump. That also wasn't the Paralyzing Pump. That was. Ooh. Stomach punch. Now it's time to deliver. Ooh. Well, that was pleasant. Unfortunately, I'm over-encumbered yet again. All right. How about we get rid of... I don't know. Um, you. I should play Glover. That'd be a fun game to play. That would piss the shit out of me. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. Right, this is the door I went in earlier. Like the little shortcut door. Would have been a good way to get a vantage point in those stupid free tri -beam laser rifle douche hats. Like this one. It's pretty sad when even these things just don't compare. You need the fat man. Unless you have the fat man, you're not doing much. Like, seriously, look. Three shots of that shit, and you're already down to half health. Blow it. These bastards are powerful. Yo, get into a better vantage spot so I can shoot the shit out of you. Come on, you need, you need to get over here. You know what? Close enough. I gotta aim for the legs, though, just to make sure I get the lower shot in it. There you go. That was a beautiful shot. I probably could have made that outside of Vats, but if I made it outside of Vats, I would have just blown myself up. <laughs> Fat Man is sort of a Vats gun for that reason. Because if you don't want to blow yourself up, you, you kind of have to take what you can get with your Vats shots. Alright. Oh, come on! There's another one. Oop. How on earth did I open it that fast? Holy shit, that was like speedrun tactic shit. Alright, well... We need to make sure this guy goes down as well. Do I have any mines? I have, any, I have a pulse mine. <sighs> Completely worthless. Um. What can I shoot fast that'll kill this guy down real quick? Other than the fat man, of course. I guess this is all I got. Alright then. Ah, I don't have any fat points back yet. Alright, now I should. No, I still don't. Holy shit, how much AP does this thing take? Like, all of it? There we go. It takes, like, seriously, a majority of that AP. But boom baby. Takes them always down to four, pretty much. And I also blew myself up pretty bad in that explosion. Like, see, even in VATS, look how much damage that did to me. That's why this is a total VATS gun, if you want to try and use it. Alright, um... I guess I'll just Sydney 10 millimeter the rest of his health down. Okay. Can I eat your arms when you're dead? We'll make up a little bit about it. Because I think your arms look rather tasty. Although you mostly just have muscle. It's kind of meh. Unless it's fat. What the actual fuck? How on earth did he kill me before I killed him? I was shooting him in the face. About a hundred times with an SMG. Makes no sense. Welcome back to this part. Son of a bitch. Alright, you know what? Yo, I hope you like, uh... hope you like mini nukes. Because the second you walk through that door... Hello, you motherfucker. Damn it. 
I missed him, but at least it hit him enough for the same damage I usually get off of this thing. Ow. Alright, you know what? This is going to be the combo. Fat man immediately to disintegrator. I think that combo works very nice. By the way, yes, these guys always look like they're dumping ass. When they walk. I'm not sure why that is, but that's decidedly how Bethesda decided to portray him. Just go with it. It makes more sense if you do. Or at least it's acceptable. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Just, uh, just accept it. And it'll all go away soon. Oh, God. Well, I can't really throw this grenade at you, so I'm probably going to immediately switch to my fists, knock you out, and then close range beat the shit out of you. Yeah, that sounds about a good plan to me. Dude, look how much damage that does. Holy shit. Bam. Bam. Get wrecked. Okay, now time to deliver the shotgun treatment. Actually, you know what? I'll deliver this treatment. <laughs> that was pretty silly. Ah, boy, more copyright music, probably. This guy better drop another mini nuke this time, or else I'm going to be pretty sad. Oh, what the hell? How come I can't repair? Oh, because I don't have the other one yet, do I? Right. <clears throat> Please have another mini nuke this time. Nope. Nope, of course you don't. At least you had two stim packs. That was nice of you. Of course, I would have loved the mini nuke a lot more than the two stim packs, because I've got a hundred of those. Let's be honest here. Okay. Now I gotta take from all the gore bags again. And of course, they're not going to have different stuff, because they're auto-rendered. The second you get inside their, uh, whatever it is, like the place where they render out. I don't know how to describe it. It was described in a certain way as a way you could get a bunch of Nuka-Cola Quantums if you wanted them from all the Nuka machines. Because there's about a 10% chance of finding a Quantum inside of every single Nuka-Cola machine in the wastes. Or something like that. And you could continually like, reset from a certain point and go to them and try and get a Nuka Cola from every single one of them. It would have been a total pain in the ass for anyone that tried to though, if anyone has tried it in the past, because let's be honest here. One Nuka Cola quantum is just simply not worth it, all that pain and resetting. Do I hear another one? Yeah, I guess that must be the other one. It must be because I have my light on. Alright. How to deal with this friend, I wonder. How about my fists? That's usually the best way of dealing with them. I'm in danger, but I'm not in danger because I don't see anyone. Yeah, it must be these guys down here. And of course, we're going to run into two of these guys again. Hello. I'm going to paralyze and bomb you. Bunch. Bunch. Come on, paralyze and bomb. Fuck. Me. Oh god! Oh god! These guys hurt so much. Okay, time for the fat man, and unfortunately I wasted all my action points. Book it! Okay. Yeah, we'll keep each other at bay with our vantage points. Except he's just gonna run straight for me. You better not. I have a fat man, man. You don't wanna do that. Okay, you wanna be stupid, apparently. Alright, um. This is awkward. I count on such stupidity. But then again, I guess I should have expected it a little bit. Okay. Well, I do believe it's time to hope for a paralyzing palm again. My favorite time. Oh, at least one of you guys. There we go. Good deal. Ow. Even in vats, these guys just hurt so much. Alright, well, I can't really get a paralyzing palm of the other guy, so I'm going to hope for a dark gun poisoning, which always happens, so I really can't hope for it. It just happens. There you go. Now I hide. What music is this? Oh, it's Hydrocity. Awesome. Boop -a -dip -a bam. And oh, look, my health is regenning again. Well, it was for a little bit. A couple seconds. Hello, I'm gonna paralyze and palm you again, hopefully. There you go. <laughs> that was silly. Sorry, 
your friend is getting wrecked. Hey, 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 you guys. Let's, uh, let's think about this one for a second. Oh, I'm so fucked. Uh, Alright, I have a plan. It's called, fuck your health. Let's hopefully see if this works. Fuck my health! 